Hey guys, Bryn from On The Clock here, and today we're gonna to talk about decimal hour and hour hour minute minute time conversion. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the tips and tricks that I have that I use when I am converting between both of these decimal hour and hour hour minute minute time formats. And I basically like to think of it in terms of a pie chart in the four quadrants that there are, and then I convert that basically to a time clock. So there are uh, formulas out there that you can use as well that I will mention later on in this video. And also there's really handy charts out there. For example, the chart that you see on your screen right now. So there's four key points that I would like to point out on this chart. That would be 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, and then 1.0. All of these are quarters, so that would be 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and 60 minutes, or one whole hour. So these are all the key points that I use when I am converting between decimal hour and hour, hour, minute, minute. So like I mentioned before with the little hack that I use, so when I see 0 0.25, that tells me that's 25%. So in my mind, 25%, that's a quarter. So I think of what a quarter of a pie or a quarter of a pie chart would look like. Now I then convert that in my head to make it look like a clock. So if you were to start at the very top at say 12 o'clock, and you fill that all the way in to a quarter, you're now at 15 minutes. So I know that when I look at 8.25, I know that that's eight hours and 15 minutes. And you can do that for all the other ones. So for example, if you saw that half of the pie was shaded, that you're gonna now know that that's 30 minutes. And you can easily see it, 8.5 is eight hours and 30 minutes. And you can use that for any type of time now, if you happen to have something that's off, that's not the 8.25, 8.5, 8.75, or anything that's a round whole number, it's gonna make it a little bit tricky, and that's totally okay. And maybe you don't have that chart handy. Well, again, like I mentioned, we do have a formula that you can use. Let's say, for example, you're looking for decimal hours. So you are starting an hour, hour, minute, minute format. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the number of minutes you're going to divide by 60 for 60 minutes in an hour, and that is going to give you the decimal format. Now, if you were the opposite, so let's go ahead and say that we're looking for the number of minutes. So you're gonna go ahead and start with the decimal number. You're gonna now multiply that by 60 minutes, and that's going to give you the number of minutes. So this would be the hour, hour, minute, minute. So for both of those formulas, you're strictly going to just be looking at the minute portion. So if you are given something as a decimal or in minutes, and let's say you have hours associated with it, don't forget to add those hours back into those minutes. So let's say I had eight hours, then I would write it in decimal format as 8.25. But if I have it in hour, hour, minute, minute format, it would be eight hours and 15 minutes. So again, always remember to add those hours back in if you happen to have them. Fun little uh, fact for you guys. So I went out yesterday, I bought myself a 24 hour time clock and it stopped working. It's really sad because it only lasted a day. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video to be incredibly helpful and just the hack that I like to use when I am trying to convert between both of these hours. So again, if you learned something new or you found this hack to be helpful, give us a huge thumbs up. And also, if you want more information on how to manually calculate this either by hand or again, you're wanting more information just on how you convert between both of these, be sure to check out this video right here on the upper corner. We're gonna have a video for you that's gonna go over how you would go about converting all of these in both formats too. And if you also are looking just for a really great tool and resource, maybe you don't have access to that chart that I was mentioning earlier, or maybe just my little hack didn't help you, we have at ontheclock.com a decimal hour calculator for you. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. So I'm at ontheclock.com and you're gonna see here in this section, I have a more with a drop down. On this dropdown, you're gonna see under free tools, this decimal hour converter. We have a really great way for you to go ahead and go through this page on how you would go about converting these. But let's just say, for example, that you wanna go ahead and use our handy calculator. You can actually just enter in the number of hours and we'll go ahead and we're gonna convert that for you. So let's just say I'm looking for decimal hours. It's gonna give me the correct hour and minute format. 
And let's also say that maybe you're looking to start with hours and minutes and then you need it to show in decimal format. So I can go ahead, enter these in and the calculator is gonna do the work for me. So it's incredibly easy. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you have a wonderful day.